Welcome back. This is, uh, it is a wonderful Thursday evening, and we are going to be continuing our playthrough of the AI, so AI the Somnium Files. And, um, I have no idea where we left off, so, uh, it'll be fun to try and remember where we are in the timeline. Something about Shovel Forge, I think? I think we were conned into going on a date with a miner. Well, not fully minor. She's like 18, but still, she's essentially a child. So, we gotta play some Shovel Forge. Alright, so let's go ahead and get on into it. Let's get the game pulled up. There we go. Nah. All right. Nah. I will be spastically saving throughout because that's what I do. But let's go ahead and get on into it. That's right, we're at the gangster's office, I think. Yes. Hi, Final. Uh, I don't know how much... How much do you remember of this game, or have you been watching? Because, uh, if you haven't kept up, then there's a lot that you've missed. Uh, basically, long story short, there is a, um, there is an idol. A, uh, female idol. Uh, we are a policeman. She has conned us into a date playing a game called Shavel Forge on her stream. We are currently at the Kumakuras, which is basically like the Yakuza. And we are questioning them. And, uh, yeah, so we're still trying to figure out who murdered um, Shoko Nadami. She was found on a... Um, Mary ground, missing an eye, and had a uh, ice pick stuck through her eye socket. So let's get into it. All right, this is Moma. Uh, let's ask him about Shoko. Don't know nothing about her. I know her face and her name. It was on the news. Nothing else. That's it. Look at this. Oh, and that's our cybernetic They're eyeball. From when you inquired about Shoko. Body temperature rising. Red hot lie. Mm. It appears that way. How do I get him to come to it? Remove his fingernails one by <laughs> one. <laughs> Damn. Not my style. Blackmail him? Blackmail? <laughs> Find his weakness and threaten him with it. I was going dark. Room. Perhaps we may discover one of his secrets. Okay, well, Iba does give us uh, uh, x ray vision, so let's take a look around. Bronze Dragon. True. That is not Shenron. Shenron. My wish for panties. I told you that's not Shenron. I wish for panties. Dragon holding a gold ball. Turns with Kumakura written on them. Door. Computer. I, can hack it. I cannot. The power is off. Uh, desk. Belongs to someone in the gang. Top. Tons of things on top. Lockers. Uh, member A. Talk to him. Maybe he'll give up stuff. Nothing to say to me. 
the fat one. He's holding his stomach in pain because we kicked his ass. Tiger rug. Wow, that is a big flying squirrel. That is a tiger. Okay. Ashtray. Low table. Marvelous. What? Marvelous marvel. <laughs> okay, tiger rug. Member B, let's talk to him. There would be no point in talking to him in that state. Okay. Skinny one, he's completely out. Whiteboard, last month's schedule. Go to the zoo to see the pandas on the 22nd. Okay, permits of some kind. Company motto. After 40, your toenails grow slower. What an interesting motto. Odd. Entrance. Partition. Chair. Knife? The kind that nice nicely at night. But <laughs> uh, lockers. Okay, nothing. Nothing super interesting in any of this. Personal computer. Desk? Chairman, Chairman's desk. Name MoMA. Uh, Crest. Ooh, X-ray. Yes, please. Is that an A-set figure? There's a hidden safe behind the crest. There is something inside. I recognize that. It's just like the one I saw in Matsushita. A-set is the female idol, internet figure. idol. Correct. Why is that there? Unknown, but perhaps. Hey, you wouldn't happen to be a fan of Aeson, would you? What? Who's that? A schoolgirl internet idol. You know what I'm talking about. Think you can get away with talking to our boss like that? He's tough as bricks and hard as nails. Never be in a pussy shit like that, fucker. Shadows. Shadows. Threat! A silhouette! ASAP! They have a really weird, like, catchphrase. Water. Wet! Uh, sweat! ASAP! ASAP, you bet! Fears. Upset? Uh, regret? ASAP! It's like a word association That's thing. Boss? What's this? Sh shut up! Don't look at me! Get out of here! Did you hear me? I said get the fuck out of here! Yes, sir! <laughs> that one grabbed the skinny one and dragged him out. I've got your secret now. If you don't want that to get out, you better answer my questions. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Alright, let's question him. All right, do you have an alibi for Shoko's murder? What about Rohan Kumakura, who is the boss previous? Uh, about the Shoko and the Kumakuras? No idea you were a Net Idol fan. Let's tease him. How did you know? You're hiding an A-set figure in the safe. How did you know that? I have superpowers. And magic! Yeah, sure. All right, uh, what about Rohan? Yeah, what happened to him? Rohan was my older brother. He was my big brother in this organization, and my blood brother. Hi, Tess. But he's gone now. A suicide. Yeah, after breaking out of the hospital. All right. Uh, why was he hospitalized? About 20 years back, both he and I were the new guys in the Ujisaki family. The Ujisakis are above the Kumakuras in the hierarchy. At the time, we were in a turf war with a rival gang. One day, one of their boys walks in here and beats my bro's face in with a metal bat. Yikes. His vision's been fucked on the right side ever since. Oh, the doctors say he can still see. But it doesn't register. Like, he only eats food off the left side of his plate. And if he's drawing a picture or whatever, he only draws the left side. Date, a question. Uh, 
question for MoMA. Is Rohan left-handed? Why? Just ask him, please. Alright, guess we're asking. Is he left-handed? Yeah, he was. Confirmed. Rohan must suffer from hemispatial neglect on his right side. Well, must As have. As you are aware, the brain is divided into what is called the right brain and left brain. One side develops into the superior hemisphere, responsible for language and higher functions. The other side controls spatial recognition ability. In most people, the superior hemisphere is the left brain. In roughly one-third of the population, the right brain is the superior hemisphere. This is often linked to left-handedness. MoMA just confirmed that Rohan was left-handed. From this, we can conclude that his right brain was his superior hemisphere, and his left brain was the inferior hemisphere. Rohan I have it. beating on the left side of his head. That must have damaged his left brain. That caused him to lose his spatial cognitive ability. That, that was a lot, but okay. Um, do you have an alibi for Shoko's murder? Us Kumakuras are a branch of the Ujisaki family. And why do I the care? The Ujisaki family runs a yearly golf tournament. Mandatory attendance. Ah, that's your alibi. We were all at the tournament those days. We only got back this morning. You've been asked a hotel. They'll tell you. Dante, I did some research. The hotel's record of guests does list the Kumakura members. They were also seen on several surveillance cameras. It is not possible that any of the Kumakuras could have killed Shoko. Well, dang it. Moma. I guess you're clear, you criminal. Well, Shoko and the Kumakuras. How are you guys connected again? Right. We do have connections with the investment company Shoko worked at. A company that commits fraud. No comment. Anyway, we never had any problems with Shoko. There'd be no reason for us to kill her. Okay. Uh, about Rohan. Give us more info. Anyway, after getting the shit beaten out of him, he changed, man. He became cold-blooded. I'm talking ruthless. One time, we captured some street bosses from a rival gang. Bro grabbed him by the big toe and took a potato peeler to him. Ooh. The toe to the thigh. Totally Yikes. blank expression. Like he was scraping bonito flakes. Yeah. Anyway, sick fuckers like that always end up running the world, don't they? He started climbing the ranks, and eventually he was taken in by the Ujisaki family boss. The Ujisakis decided to make him head of our gang. That's how we became the Kumakuras. When was Rohan ho hospitalized? About six years ago. Six I years ago? Something keeps something on coming happened. up about six years. Some threat to the Kumakuras that could bring us all down. He didn't give me the details, but I figured it was something from his past coming back to bite him in the ass, you know? Anyway. His plan was to handle his shit internally. Didn't want too many people knowing about it. Whatever he planned didn't work. When the chips were down, he decided to handle it himself. He ended up shooting some guy in his house. A few days later, cops busted him. Prosecution tried to get him on premeditated murder, but it was determined that he was insane at the time. Maybe they were right, you know. His head's been getting worse and worse for the past 20 years. He gets relapses and all that. Anyway, they decided to keep him in a special hospital. And naturally, because I'm his brother and next in line, I was the successor. Hmm. About Renju. No point hiding it, right? Yeah, I know about Shoko's ex. I told Moa about Renju's accident. Yeah, you I don't know, know why they were talking about him in the present. He's nope, dead. Sure don't. It's not like we keep in touch or anything. Maybe it was I translation error. No abnormalities in his thermograph. Looks like he's not lying. Hmm. 
Uh, need some more info about hey, Renju, Mama, please. I've got a favor to ask. Can you get me information on Renju? His whereabouts, rumors on where he might be, anything. I need some leads. And what if I refuse? And your gang finds out you're the world's biggest ASAP fan. <laughs> in exchange for helping me, there's a reward in it for you. A reward? I'll let you meet ASAP. What? I met her yesterday at Lemniscate. We're acquaintances now. Really? <laughs> yeah. You promise? Yeah, I promise. Weirdo. Oh, phone. Telephone on the desk. Summarize for me, please. The Kumakuras appear to be unrelated to the investigation. It was still worth it just to find out Moma is an ASAP <laughs> That information might come in handy later. Yeah, now you've got blackmail Let's on a gang. Else, got what we needed here. All right. Let's head to Abyss. She's in the passenger seat today. She's not in the wheel. Steering wheel. Is it her dashboard? Dashboard. What? That's a broadsword. What? Love box. That's Last night when you were asleep, I snuck out and put something inside the glove box. What? Flower in a plastic bag. Why would you do that? I'm a cop! <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to check that. Alright. Commiserate. Scream. Can you call Iris? Renju. Scream. G ghost! I have been here for several minutes now. Could you not come out like that? Why not? If people see you, they'll freak out. Do not worry. I can only be seen by you. I am sending this projection of myself directly to your brain. As we have reiterated oh. several times before. Right. But returning to your answer, why would people freak out if they saw me? Because you look like a hallucinogenic a shrimp. A girl looking like you, dressed like that, sitting next to me? People would think I'm a pervert. They already think that. Hm. If you continue saying such things, I will self-destruct. In your eye socket. Can you really self-destruct? An AI never lies. So, you weren't kidding. What happens if you self-destruct in my eye socket? Your skull would pop like a balloon. Why do you even have that function? My body is full of cutting-edge technology and state secrets. In terms of hardware as well as software. I am capable of hacking 99.99% of computers that currently exist. What if someone managed to steal me? It would threaten not only the police force, but the existence of the state itself. My self-destruct function is designed to prevent such a scenario from ever occurring. Okay. Oh, your self-destruct function. I'm very Stay concerned about you. this. I am not capable of self-destructing. I don't like having a bomb in my eye socket. I obey the three laws of robotics as laid down by Isaac Asimov. I cannot harm myself. However, a person with administrative authority could order me to self-destruct. You have such authority. Let us determine a code number. One that will activate the detonator. Command 41205. If you issue this command, I will detonate. No, that's still too dangerous. We need some kind of safety. 
the number will be the first lock. If I give you the second command within one minute of the first... What is the second command? Let's see. How about if I tell a lie? A lie? Well, something that's not the truth. If I say something untrue, I want you to regard it as the second command. Understood. Hmm. And one more thing. Even if I die, do not worry. I will not be gone. Huh? Everything that I see and hear is uploaded to the cloud. All by wireless communication in real time. Oh, well, that's good. Even if my body is destroyed, my backup data will not be lost. My memories, as well as my core programming, will be preserved. So you're basically immortal. Yes, as long as the server is alive. How did you come up with that number? That's a very specific number. Hey, about that five-digit command. How did you come up with that number? <laughs> the it state has backed up all number. the porn I've ever seen. There is no particular meaning. <laughs> really? Um, I'm concerned about Renju. Where could Renju be? I also wonder where he could have gone. Commiserate. <laughs> I'm already tired of this, Iba. That's not like you. Is something wrong? Shoko's estimated TOD was two days ago, 5 p.m. It's been more than 48 hours, but our investigation has made zero progress. I'm sorry. I just wanted to whine about it for a bit. In five I mean, years, ballot. this is the first time I've heard you so dejected. All right. About me and Iba. Six years ago, I lost my past. It's not all I lost. My left eye. I don't know how I lost it. The earliest remember memory I have is of me aimlessly wandering the streets of Shinjuku. Until a good friend gave me a hand. Come with me. To where you belong. Where I belong. Boss be helped me become a cop and assigned me to Two Abyss. A year later, I was called into the control room where a pewter showed me something extraordinary. The official title is AI Bomb. You may call her Iba. The artificial intelligence contained within this sphere is nothing short of miraculous. An autonomous artificial intelligence, birthed from collective nanotechnology. Its ability to think is controlled by a program we call the Wadjet System. Special Agent Date, from today forward, this is your partner. She will be your personal computer and your personal companion. It's the biggest uh, neck on a jacket I've ever seen. It's been five years since then. Five years and a number of tough cases. But... This time is different. About Shoko Nadami's murder. About Shoko Nadami's murder. We still need to see the investigation through. The only relevant lead is the call made to Shoko's phone. Iba. Is that number still turned off? Please wait. Date, the line is connected. Oh. Really? Really. Call it. Isn't your number being blocked? Try from a different line. You can do that, right? I can. Which line would you like to use? Hmm. Which line should we use? Uh, Shoko's phone. I see. The caller did attempt to call Shoko's phone. If we call from that line... Right, he might pick up. 
but a normal call may yield the same results as before. I have an idea. Do you remember what Shoko's voice sounded like? Yes, I do. I remember everything that I see and hear. Can you reproduce her voice? Analyzing recorded audio data. Imitation should be possible. Well then? You want me to call with Shoko's voice? Dang. Yeah. Me? Bring her back from the dead. You're the only one who can. Fine. I suppose we have no choice. Are you sure you can handle this? I am an artificial intelligence. Not a human prone to nervous breakdowns and mistakes like you. Alright, Hal, let's see what you can do. <laughs> it, it's connected! It's ringing! What is that oh, reaction? Uh, 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 uh. Calm down, deep breaths. <laughs> <sighs> you got the Saiba. What? I'm an AI. I don't take breaths. <laughs> Focus, they're gonna hang up. Um, hello. This is Nadami Shoko. Possible. Shoko is dead. Yes, I died two days ago. Idiot, why did you say that? Oh, by I, I meant my twin sister, Shoku. Your twin sister? His name! Get his name! How? How do we get his name? Tell him you have a package, need his address, ask are you Yamada, accuse him of being an imposter, ask for his name. Uh, package? I don't know. Uh, uh, my sister has a package for you. Where should I deliver it? Just send it to my office. Where is your office? What do you mean? Look it up. Do you even know who I am? This isn't working! They're going to hang up! Damn! Mm, accuse him of being an imposter. Imposter. You're an imposter! I beg your pardon? Don't act dumb. You sound completely different. How did you get that phone? This is my phone. Liar! You're impersonating him! That's enough. I am So Sejima, the congressman. A politician? Sejima? Oh my. Sorry for doubting you. It's fine. What were you calling me for? Sosibaka. Oh, uh, sorry, something urgent just came up. I will call back later. Goodbye. Why so? Unknown. But that was definitely so Sejima. I was able to match his voice to public records of him speaking. So Sejima is a minor celebrity. He even goes on TV sometimes. Two days ago, he called Shoko. Why? In any case, that was an excellent performance, was it not? No, it was terrible. Yeah, good job. Is that all? What, do you want me to pat you on the head? N no! Nothing like that! I tap my fingertip against my left, uh, left eye. <laughs> Stop! It tickles! Rub, rub, rub! Stop! The nerve might break! the heck? A call came in soon after. I mean, she did get a name out of him, so... Tate! A call from Investigation HQ! Connect me. Is this Special Agent Tate from Abyss? 
My name is Akaska, from HQ. I'm investigating the Shoko Nadami case. There's something that you need to hear. What is it? We got a phone call earlier. From a prisoner at Fuchu Prison. A prisoner? We saved the call. I think you should give it a listen. Who is this? In here? I'm known as number 89. What is this call concerning? I know who killed Shoko Nadami. And if you let me out of here, I will tell you who it is. I suppose you might say I'm looking for a plea bargain. He will kill again, you know. And he'll take their eye while they're still alive. There will be more bodies. If you want to stop this serial killer, I suggest you take my offer. I'll be seeing you. <laughs> this has to be a prank. That's what I thought, too. But I felt I should give you the heads up anyway. Good idea. Thanks, Detective. Good luck. Do you think it really is just a prank? Well, to be sure, look into number 89. Roger that. But for now... So, Sejima. Yeah, so is... Eh, he's so-so. <laughs> Sajima Residence, Sunday, 7.54 p.m. That hey, outfit, you can't I be swear. here without permission. I'll call the police! Bitch, I am the police. What happened? Sir... A uh, police officer. With a very bad sense of fashion. You. He apparently recognizes us? Can I help you? I need to ask you a few questions. I'm a very busy man. You can ask me tomorrow during normal business hours. It's about Shoko Nadami. You can't tell me you've never heard of her. As a matter of fact, I have. It was reported on the news that she was killed. Two days ago at 9.02 p.m., you made a phone call to Shoko Nadami. A phone call? I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. Bodyguard. What's your blood type? What's your blood type? Okay, I'll guess. You're a B. Definitely a B. You're being rude. I knew it. That attitude is so B of you. Got a girlfriend? Got a girlfriend? Didn't think so. Sorry, bud. I'm married. This guy's domestic. What's wrong with domestic? He must be punished by death. <laughs> what the fuck, Iva? What's your name? What's your name? He didn't say a word. Bodyguard. Can't tell him apart, so let's call him A. A is standing there. Why are you wearing sunglasses at night? Don't those sunglasses make it hard to see? I made a face at him. No reaction. Yes, he really can't see well in those. Uh, how much do you get paid? Hey, how much do you get paid? What? I'm talking about cash, my friend. I rub my thumb against my... The, Probably the, double what you make. Whatever. Really? Iba, bring up a job search website. On it. Your boss is a liar, you know? Your boss is a liar, you know. Aren't all politicians... That's surprisingly honest. <laughs> it is. Go easy on the caps lock, please. A bodyguard. Can't tell him apart. This one will be B. B is standing there. Lantern! Look, Date. Your favorite cabaret girl is here. <laughs> That's just a lantern. Caps. Rika isn't that sturdy. Garden Lantern. Topiary. 
It's a big kubosu. No, wait, that's a bush. Nice bush. Mansion. Sajima residence. Stone. Garden stone. Tree. It's a tree. Whoop. I clicked out of the game. Like a doof. Anything else? Nope. Uh. Ooh, thermo. So much blood. Where's all this red coming from? It's a thermograph. <laughs> yeah, I knew that. So much blood. Anyway, he's lying. How do I get him to admit it? What will make so confess that he killed Shoko? Bribe him, peel off his nails, call him, uh, threaten him with his your gun. Let's go for that. I should get some pliers and take his nails off. I thought that wasn't your style. Uh, threaten him? Maybe I'll pull out my gun. That would result in heavy disciplinary action. Bribe him. I'll give you one million yen for the truth. Only one million. Only. Only. <laughs> That's the kind of world he lives in. Call him. Aiba, call his phone again. Using Shoko's line. Understood. You're not gonna pick it up? It's from Shoko. I had her give you a call. What? It'll stop ringing soon. Three, two, one. See? Mm. Fine. I did call her. Around nine o'clock, just like you said. Finally confessing? There's nothing to confess. I did nothing wrong. Then why did you lie to me? Because I didn't want to get involved in all of this nonsense. You mean to tell me that I am a suspect? My call was after Shoko died. If I were the killer, why would I do that? I don't know, but I'm asking the questions. Do you have a warrant? I thought not. I'll be leaving now. Good night, detective. All right, so went back inside his mansion. I tried to follow, but so's bodyguards blocked my path. Go home. Unless you want to get kicked out. Uh, they... they mentioned... Uh, it's been on the news. So they released time of death on the news and, um, that she was actually dead. So he's... it's been two days. He, he should have been able to see it by now. Uh, what's the relationship between So and Shoko? I don't know. Even if I did, it would be confidential. Why does he have a burner phone? I don't know what you're talking about. Um, about So's alibi. Do you know where So was Friday at 5 p.m.? Here, the death the live. What do you mean by that? Can anyone corroborate that? Maybe the housekeeper. Look, a UFO! Look, a UFO! Didn't flinch. Look, the Mothman! <laughs> Look, the Mothman! Didn't flinch. Look, a grandma! Look, a grandma! Didn't flinch. Damn, anything gonna make him flinch? <laughs> Uh, is um, it was only a few minutes between time of death and the call, apparently, like a couple minutes, which was said earlier, I think. Look, a porno bag on the floor. Look, a porno mag on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I like this guy. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, anything suspicious about, uh, so recently? No, nothing special. Not any different from any other politician, anyway. Well, he could probably look at the call history and make connect the dots there. Like I said, it has been two days since the death. <laughs> Do you know Shoku Nadami? I've heard of her, but I've never met her. I saw her on the news. Date, a minute. What happened? So is on the move. Oh. Most likely in a car. How do you know? I hacked Sos smartphone and I'm currently tracking the GPS. Not his rental phone, the one registered under his name. Where's he headed? Unknown. Somewhere to the east. Keep tracking. Okay. Roger that. Harbor Warehouse District, Sunday, 8.51 p.m. Yeah, he probably should have left his smartphone. This is suspicious. What was So doing here? Date, my apologies. What's wrong? My battery is low. Hmm. Are you serious? Guess it's not going to be a problem. I can still see out of my right eye. My vision halved, and I went into the warehouse. It's cold. There's something on a table with a cloth over it. forklift day. Shelves with boxes. Oil drum. Overhead crane. Forklift B. Switchboard. Is that a switchboard in back? Ice cutting machine. Shelves. Warehouse not in use. Cardboard box on the floor. All right, let's check out white cloth. Something covered with white cloth is on the table. This is it can't be. It's a body. Is that Iris? Iris. Iba, what's your charge? Currently at 2%. Can you make a call? I can. I am connected to the power supply. What do you... Hurry. Just connect me to boss. <laughs> Date, what's wrong? I found a body. What? She was murdered. Multiple stab wounds to the back. And one eye missing. Oh no. Location is Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. The victim... The victim is Iris Sagan. Iris? I'll tell you more later. Just send CSI to the scene right away. And one more thing. Congressman So Sejima. 
bring him to Abyss. Wait a minute, why? I'll take responsibility for everything, just do it, please. <sighs> All right. Sometime real soon, I'm going to die. God damn it! Police headquarters, Sunday, nine forty eight. Do you honestly think you can get away with this? Funny, I was gonna ask you the same thing. Date, calm down. You know Iris Sagan, don't you? No, I don't. I've never heard of her. Maybe he's lying, maybe he's not. But even if he doesn't know her name... Um... Uh... Show the picture. This is the image stored in the Persons of Interest database. I put a picture of Iris in front of Zoe. So you've never met her before? I have not. Have you seen her corpse? Corpse? I know you've seen her body. Based on what? Um, based on him leaving the warehouse. That's important, but also something else. Where Iris was found. Iris's body was found in Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. What does that have to do with anything? I stood up and went to a corner of the room. I picked up the PC monitor and put it on the desk in front of him. This. Iba, play the video. Right away. I see. Then I suppose you know I was there. Then you saw the body. I didn't. I was at the warehouse. But I didn't see any corpses there. Don't lie to me! It's the truth! Then what were you doing there? I choose to remain silent. You what? Remain silent. As is my right, guaranteed by law. God. Remember that I am a politician. I know my right. I know my rats! Date, can I get a second? What? Does it matter if he saw the body or not in this case? He's a busy man. If we hold him here too long... You want me to stop beating around the bush? I certainly do. <laughs> you believe that Sosajima is her killer. Or is at the very least involved in the crime somehow. Yeah. Why not ask him for his alibi first? Need to know So's alibi. Mm, time of death? Iris was killed sometime between 2 and 3 in the morning. Do you have an alibi for that time? I was playing Mahjong all night. At a place called Dora Dora in Shinjuku. Politicians spending all night in a Mahjong parlor. An exclusive Mahjong parlor, yes. It's Mahjong, you should have had three opponents with you. Indeed I did. But they were all strangers. I don't remember their names. Date, I did some research. 
Dora Dora is a private room mahjong parlor. It is owned and operated by one individual. If the rooms are private, that limits the number of potential witnesses. The shopkeeper might be in So's pocket, and he's the only one we can ask about So's alibi. Especially if he doesn't remember any of the three people he played against. He might as well not have an alibi. That's not much of an alibi, So. Please, this is ridiculous. First you suspect me in the matter of Shoko Nadami, and now this? I haven't killed anyone. Not Shoko, not Iris. Besides, if I stabbed a woman, why would I bring her to a cold storage warehouse? Wait, what did you say? He knew the type of death. I remembered. He slipped up. If I stabbed a woman, so does know about the corpse. Because... The autopsy report. I never mentioned Iris's cause of death. How do you Achievement know she was stabbed? Achievement unlocked. Interrogation because, implicates Because you so. did it? Don't be stupid. Then how do you know? Stop dodging the question and answer. <laughs> Boss, give me permission to sink. He can't hide inside his own head. You've got it. Sink with him. We're gonna rip the truth out of you. I put so into chemically induced. But do not worry. It will not affect the sink. Okay, Dante. Let's do it. Right. Please, don't forget the six-minute time limit. <sighs> you say it every time. And we forget it every time. Let us begin. my superior driving technique? Sure. <laughs> With that, we are going to call it for tonight because it is actually time to end for the night. So we will resume this again on Tuesday and be able to uh, see what is going on with So's unconsciousness. All right. It is a superior entrance. Probably one of the best entrances I've seen. I don't think I've ever been able to uh, spin a forklift like that. Then again, I've never driven a forklift. I've driven a skid steer before, but you can't go very fast in those. They're kind of big, hulky, and lumbering. I don't like this track. This is too marching bandish. That's better. Yeah, I don't think I would want to spin one of those. Either of them, honestly. Because uh, that, that would be kind of crazy. But anyways, uh, my plan for the weekend is... Uh, we're not doing stream on Saturday because my husband and I are thinking of going kayaking. Um, if kayaking gets cancelled, then stream might be on on again so we'll we'll see how it goes depends on the weather depends on our feelings 
or how we're feeling. Words. They're hard. Um, but yeah, we will continue AI Somnium Files on uh, Tuesday and Thursdays still. And I am going back to Fable on Saturdays. Um, like I said before, last uh, weekend, my friend Rusty is moving soon. So I wanted to make sure to spend time with him in Sea of Thieves. And oh my god, Sea of Thieves is really addictive. Um, I'm actually working towards becoming a pirate legend in Sea of Thieves right now. I'm getting close. I'm like level 30 in gold hoarders and level 20 in order of souls. And I just need to find one more to get up to level 50. Like I've got to get three trading companies up to level 50. But um, I'm having fun with it, which is something I haven't been able to say about a lot of uh, RPG games. So I'm enjoying it, and um, I hope you enjoy it when I play it on stream. But um, on that note, from last Saturday's stream, um, what happened is when I ended stream, I traded the stream off to Rusty, and there was a uh, fun little incident that happened that I didn't get recording footage of, but Rusty did. So he gave me the recording, and I'm going to do some editing magic, and I will be posting that sometime this week and on my YouTube channel. Oh, and uh, final, if you want to catch up on all the details of this game, uh, my um, VODs are on my YouTube channel. So that is, if you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, there is the link right there. Uh, the, no, I don't save the VODs on my Twitch anymore, so I don't know if it's saved or not, or if it's still showing. Because that was basically taking weight, it was taking too much energy to try and save it on both Twitch and on YouTube. So now YouTube is my only catalog of anything past 14 days. So that that's how that works. But yeah, if you're not subscribed yet, go check it out. It's a lot of fun stuff, and I do post some stuff that I don't show on my Twitch. Yeah, after 14 days, the VODs disappear off Twitch. And I mean, I could change that if I made a highlight out of it, but like I said, I only have so much energy for video editing, and I honestly, I can't be asked. So, it is what it is. Anyway, I gotta go eat, so I hope you guys enjoy the stream, and I hope you guys are enjoying the game. Um, and I hope to see you guys again on next Tuesday. So have a wonderful night, and sleep well, my lovelies.